The New Gate is an animated series based originally on a web series made by Shigami Kamani and appearing on Subsidy Nero's website before coming a light novel and published by Alpha Polis. The series revolves around the main character, Kimintari Shinya, who along with tens of thousands of others are playing an online game where the player dies in real life if they die in the game. Shin is the most skilled player, Bao Chika Wow Wow, and after a long struggle has defeated the final boss, freeing himself and the others, when a blinding flash of light overtakes him and thus ending Sword Art Online. Or not, because instead of waking up in the real world, he wakes up in the game, psych. But now it's 500 years later, double psych. The game is now a world of its own, with the NPCs becoming sentient and the world continuing past what was in the game. Shin understandably wants answers on what has happened to him and what has happened in the last 500 years he's been away. He starts his search for answers at his old base, the Moon Shrine Store, where his party used to gather and where some of the best weapons and equipment in the game can be found. At the Moon Shrine, Shin finds it's been run by an elf girl by the name of Teria Lusa. Teria is able to fill in some of Shin's blanks of what's happened in the last 500 years and tells him that she was put in charge of the Moon Shrine by an NPC Shin created called Shira Reza who is still alive. Shin also finds out through analysis that Teria is cursed with a cursed gift. Mission objective updated. New mission save Teria. The curse is a curse that would attract strong monsters if she leaves, so Shin purifies her. Mission objective completed. He also remembers to send a message to Shinny because since he created her and she has never stopped looking for him, she might be somewhat pissed if he didn't. Shin then joins the Adventurer Guild because even though the game has ended, Shin is still playing the game, as he once did, but with some different objectives. The art style, music and acting are all fine. The sound effects and acting is worth noticing, but overall it's just done very well, with nothing really standing out or falling behind. The series that this series most resembles is Sword Art Online, because of course it does, with the anime involving online games that can kill people in real life. 